Hello and welcome to my first course Learn PHP the Right Way. Learning the right way means learning PHP from the ground up from the beginner's level all the way to advanced in a single course. I have seen many courses that teach basic stuff really well and they do an amazing job, but not all of them go into more detail or cover some of the advanced topics that you will definitely need if you want to create and maintain web applications or jump into frameworks. Knowing these topics beyond the basics will help you better understand how certain things work in the frameworks later and it will help set the proper foundation. It will also help you write clean, efficient and secure code as well as help you dive into existing code base and understand how it works. This course is for both beginners and experienced PHP developers. My goal is to have enough content within this one course that even if you have experience with PHP, you could still learn something new. We're going to start with the basic material and quickly advance into the more advanced topics as we go on. So let's get started. So what is PHP? PHP stands for Hypertext Preprocessor, which is an open source scripting language that is mainly used for web development. Scripting languages are also programming languages. The main difference between the scripting and programming languages lies within their execution. While programming languages need to be compiled into machine language, the scripting languages need to be interpreted. For example, Java, C, or C++ are programming languages that need to be compiled in order to run where PHP and JavaScript need an interpreter. Unlike JavaScript, which runs on the client within the browser, PHP requires a server to run. This is a very simple representation of how PHP runs. Client or the browser makes requests to the server, which then interprets and processes PHP. It can also do other things there, like connect to the database or third-party APIs and so on. And finally, it sends the response back. Let's talk about why you should learn PHP. First of all, it's easier and beginner friendly, which attracts a lot of developers. This is one of PHP's strengths, but it can also be considered as one of its weaknesses. Because of this simplicity, you could essentially write a pretty bad code and it will still run and work just fine in browser. And because of this, sometimes PHP gets the bad reputation. But don't let that discourage you from learning PHP, because we're here to learn PHP the right way. Also, PHP is very powerful. Not only you could build simple websites but it could also build very complex web applications even at enterprise level it also has amazing and huge ecosystem and some of the best frameworks you could build e-commerce web applications connect countless other third-party services build company websites build crm systems blogs billing invoicing warehouse management the possibilities are endless though you will still hear php is dead from time to time if you go on social media, you probably will encounter a question, is PHP dead? Pretty often. But is it actually dead? Well, first of all, PHP powers over 75% of websites whose server-side language is known. So no, PHP is not dead and it is not going to die anytime soon. Because if it does, somehow 75% of websites need to switch from PHP to something else. Secondly, yes, PHP code can be bad, but again, you could write garbage code in any programming language, whether it's Java, Python, or C++. It doesn't have to be just PHP. Also, PHP has evolved a lot since PHP 4 and PHP 5. It was mostly procedural back then, but it has become more object-oriented and has introduced great support for strict types. A lot of times they've skipped some of the advanced topics like security, for example, and jumped straight into building websites because as I mentioned before, PHP is pretty simple and beginner-friendly. This is why it's important to learn PHP beyond the beginner's level and learn those necessary and advanced topics which will be covered in this course. So let's talk more about this course. This course will be split into three sections. The first section will be basic PHP which will be mostly procedural. Then we're gonna have intermediate PHP where we'll transition into object-oriented programming and advanced PHP where we'll learn some advanced topics and techniques. The basic PHP section will cover things like getting PHP up and running, syntax, operators, variables and data types, control structures, functions, typecasting and error handling, working with PHP INI and web server, working with arrays and dates, 
and more. In my opinion, you should know how to work with your server's configuration files as well as your PHP configuration files before you even move into databases or object-oriented programming. The intermediate PHP section will be object-oriented focused and will cover things like classes and methods, object-oriented programming, code style and PSR, namespaces and autoloading, dependency management, super global sessions and cookies, databases and more. You might be asking why I did not include things like super globals or sessions and cookies within the basic PHP. The simple answer to that is because it's not basic. Yes, I could teach you the very basics of it, but there are more things that you should know and how it ties in nicely with the object-oriented programming. Advanced PHP section will cover topics about testing and PHP unit, introduction to MVC and routing, dependency injection container, caching and security, frameworks and PHP 8, best practices, hosting and deployments, and more. So as you can see, there is a lot of content and I have not mentioned all the things that are going to be in the course. These are just the main topics that will be there and basically after going through this course i'm hoping that you will have enough knowledge to build something amazing whether it's just with vanilla php or with a framework it does not matter the goal of this course is for you to know things in php beyond the beginner's level and beyond the procedural php so as far as the requirements goes you just need to know basic html to get started with this course no javascript or css is necessary though i might use some basic css to style things here and there but it's not necessary. If you have any previous programming experience or know another language like JavaScript for example, then this course will be a bit easier. If you are new to programming and PHP is the first language you're starting with, then it might be a bit harder but don't worry about it. Section 1 of this course is for beginners and it should prepare you for the other sections. This is it for this video and the introduction of the course. Thank you so much for watching. I'm really excited to be working on this course. If you have any feedback, comments or concerns, please don't hesitate and post it down below or send me a message on Twitter. If you're looking forward to this course, please give this video a thumbs up, share and subscribe, and I will see you on the next video.